Here we have a 4L60E Aaron Washington. Uh, this vehicle was brought in actually pulling uh, through the gears. Uh, here's what the, uh, the pan looks like. Uh, obviously we can see a lot of uh, clutch composition in the pan. Uh, we can also see if we look, uh, here's your valve body, okay? This is the solenoids. Uh, here's your EPC and it has a ton of metal sludge in it. Uh, as does the rest of the uh, transmission. A couple things that we see, uh, we did do an air check. This shaft feeds this drum and there's several hydraulic circuits that are in there, overrun clutch, three, four clutch and forward clutch. Um, the clutches in that drum were basically uh, incinerated. Actually, it was pulling through those clutches. Uh, here's your three, four uh, clutches here. Uh, this piston assembly, uh, can be upgraded. These are actually prone for uh, prone for failure, uh, and uh, that failure um, may, actually it looks like this piston. Oh, this piston is actually broken. So the forward piston is actually cracked, uh, and uh, there is a billet one available, uh, which uh, this would be a, a very clear uh, explanation of why you know when you get on the throttle heavy you could pull through another thing we saw was uh, leakage here in this clutch housing um, this shaft is pressed into this housing that housing feeds it fed through these orifices here and you have the ceiling rings here that you know basically make these hydraulic circuits independent of one another uh, <clears throat> so this drum uh, needs to be replaced in addition uh, the pump this pump is a 10 vein pump uh, the upgrade uh, to improve the pump efficiency and uh, improve the pump volume is a 13 vein pump. So we're going to do that upgrade. Also, the input, uh, sorry, the reverse reaction shell. These uh, units here are very prone for failure right at this point or the spline strip out. So we're going to need to uh, replace that. And the stator support on the pump, I don't know if those splines, you can see how those splines are very, very thin. And uh, so that stator assembly is going to also need to be replaced. Uh, here's the uh, converter. We're going to do a uh, converter replacement upgrade. Uh, but all in all, the gear train appears to be okay. Uh, so that's a positive thing. Also, uh, sprag assembly. You're going to replace the sprag assembly. But once this uh, transmission is rebuilt, uh, even with the, some of the upgrades, should be able to save money compared to a remanufactured transmission.